If you wanted to create a simple notification symbol like you can see on the bottom of the screen here for this button, you can do that in CSS with the following CSS. Most of it's pretty straightforward. But what happens if you want this content property for the number of notifications to be able to be changed without actually modifying the CSS? Well, that's really easy to do with data attributes. We can come in here and add a data attribute called count and we'll just set it equal to let's say eight. And then what we can do instead of our CSS is pull in this value and use it. So instead of our content here, what we can do is we can change this to ATTR and then pass in whatever attribute we want. In our case, the data count attribute. Now, no matter what that data count attribute is, it's going to get pulled into our CSS and actually used for the content of our before or after element. Now, the only downside to this ATTR property is you can only use it inside of the content property of a before and after field. But even with that restriction, it's still incredibly powerful for things like this. If you want a full blog article talking all about this exact concept, I'll link it in the comments and description down below.